What's going on, DK Team Aquascape? We're out here to do a really cool, simple, yet very effective, very interactive, medium slate sphere fountainscape. We're gonna add a little bit of twist, do a little babbling brook on it. We're gonna plant this thing up, totally aquascape our customer, and we are really excited to get it going. Let me turn you around here and show you what we got going on. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. This is our canvas area. It's right off of her deck. As you can see, she has an amazing backyard. She's got a really cool little gold mining cart back there. I'm gonna get her out here later so that she can kind of explain that backstory because I think it's a really cool piece. That's kind of what we're doing. But this is our canvas area we're working with. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna pull out some of these pavers. We're gonna bring this out into the yard a little bit. We got six small aqua blocks. We're gonna do a medium slate sphere. But we've got some cool boulders to work with. So we're gonna do a little babbling brook off of it and really just give this thing some wow factor, some good noise, that tranquility that we're always looking for. And it's really exciting because she's a flight attendant. So with her long commutes back and forth, she'll have a really cool feature to come home to and really just tie this awesome backyard into a relaxing, just R&R &R spot for her every time that she comes back home. So we're gonna get started and we're excited. Stay tuned. <music> So one of the cool things about this project is this yard backs up to a very solid flowing creek because I forgot to grab a piece of driftwood from our shop today. Figured, hey, we'll do a little scavenging. So I just walked this creek side, found a really cool log that's actually been in the water. We pulled that out. We're gonna try to incorporate that into the feature somehow or maybe use it as an accent piece outside of it. But it's really cool when we have this kind of landscape out here that we can pull from and bring those natural elements into our builds. So we'll see how that ends up uh, working out for us. Alright guys, we got it on camera. We got proof. Chris Ostrander actually knows how to use a shovel. do we had a drainage line that was running right here which is where we wanted to put our vault we ended up offsetting it in Chris did an excellent job with his digging skills he knows how to dig we're just razzing him we're gonna put a little bit of cobble in around that fill in that void help strengthen everything for these aqua blocks and we are gonna get rocking so one of the things that we like to do is really get a good vantage point. Brian and Chris always design the feature from inside the house. I'll take you in there here in a second. But what we're trying to do is get a really good height. We've got an awesome picture window right here. We want to make sure that that sphere is able to be seen from the kitchen and the living room area 365 days out of the year. They really give that uh, in the house impact, bringing nature inside. So right now we've got a small block where we want to set that. But I think we want a little bit more height. So we brought a large block with us. We're gonna play around with that real quick and set that sphere back up on there and see if it's the height that we want. So, you know, walking in here, you know, this is probably where she entertains a lot. So looking back over here, you can see where the guys are setting that up. And now we've got a really good elevation height on that sphere out there. So I think that's the way we're gonna go and get this thing dialed in. All right, so it's still raining, about lunchtime. We're getting ready to plumb up this urn. We need a little bit of hard pipe. Everybody's getting a little uh, coffee pick-me-up. Warm up here on this cool rainy day. We're gonna hard pipe this up, get everything buttoned up there, and then we can start in on building our little falls coming off of the pooling areas on the sphere. We 
got going on. The guys just pulled the liner back. We got a cool log we pulled out of the creek we showed you earlier. We wanted to get that kind of on a 45 degree angle so that this thing doesn't look super boxy and follows kind of that natural look. But what Gabe's working on right now is we left a little bit of pocket in here. So we put fabric in, we're gonna put some dirt in there. Gina had picked up some really great plants that we got to work with. So we're gonna plant some of those ground covers and seed them and stuff in there. And then that will be able to wick down into our water line. We're gonna do a couple little babbly brook areas. And that'll be able to get some moisture up into those plants, but then it'll grow over that log and really soften that edge. It's not just a straight log, but it's a great golden pine for us. Guys, we're down to finishing touches. Unfortunately, the Island Aquascape guys had to head back to the airport to check their flight. So it's Chris, Tommy, and I wrapping this thing up. We're just dialing in the last little details, getting ready to do a few more of the edges. Waiting on foam to dry for about five more minutes, and we're gonna crank this thing up and see what we got. And we are super excited. Gina is just floored with what we were able to accomplish in such a short period of time. I'm ecstatic with it. I hope Brian and Chris are proud of it as well. And I'm excited uh, to plug this thing in. So. I'll be back with you here in a second. It's been a long day. We probably blew the budget just a little bit. I think it was totally worth it. Tommy, Chris, what are you guys thinking? Beautiful. She's gonna get many years of enjoyment from the awesome fountain awesome. escape. So, uh, what do you think, Chris? It's pretty amazing, man. It's been a fun day. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a fun week, obviously. So what's kind of some of you guys' thoughts? You've been here all week helping the team out with this CAC collaboration Craig put together. What's a little bit of your takeaway for the experience or maybe some advice to maybe some of the upcoming CACs that are going to be coming in helping us? I love the tribe. We work with the best guys on earth. And I can say I love my job because of that and this yeah. and what we create for people. And the customer's reaction tonight was pretty amazing too. But yeah, yeah. I definitely love my job. And yeah. we and shout out to Island Aquascapes, Jeff Augie, yeah. uh, all those guys, Gabe and probably with the names. I mean, post all their names. Alvaro. Alvaro and Edgar. Edgar. Yeah. Alvaro and, and Jared. Edgar, and Jared. And Jared. The uh, fighter. The fighter, yeah. yeah. Poor guy like almost broke his legs Sunday night in the weight right. room and he's been hobbling around on crutches and the entire out. week and yeah. It hasn't slowed him down. Right. Mad right. respect to him and Jeff's crew. Yeah, they all did a great job, and uh, we definitely missed them this afternoon. Yeah, I was a little sad they had to hit their uh, flight early and, and missed this thing turning on by about a half hour, but hey, we'll get them some photos of it. Right. Yeah, we sure. definitely appreciate their help. Well, guys, it's been uh, an absolute blast working with both of you guys. Thanks, I hope man. you guys come Thanks. back and work with us some more, or we Me get too, to come yeah. work with you guys. So with that, I really appreciate it. All right, I'm here with Gina, recipient of this amazing little fountainscape, and we tied in some personal elements into this and I just wanted to get her reaction of it and kind of the backstory to tell you guys how this thing really is super sentimental to her. Well, first of all, I am blown away with the creative artistry. This is not just a fountain. This is an oasis of a myriad of things. Uh, the most important thing I asked them to incorporate the top of this, it was a bench. It took off the leg and it said, if tears could build a stairway and memories a lane, I'd want walk right up to heaven and bring you home again. My dear friend gave me this bench for my father who passed away about four years ago. And they, we've, we've added it to this, this space here. Now I'm able to enjoy it and it's lit beautifully. Every detail about this, I mean, it makes me cry because I'm able to enjoy it now so much more with the water and so forth. Already it hasn't even been in my house for what, six hours and already I've got, I've got stories. Dan went and I live off Salt Creek here in Illinois. Dan went and found these two logs in the creek on my property and already I've got stories within six hours of this feature on my home. I am, I, if you can afford it, do it. It's wonderful. <laughs> Don't forget the one that you went yeah, and found. Yeah, yeah, I there. found, I found, yeah, I found this that one back. That completed the whole feature. Oh, yes, and I found this other piece of wood. It's back where I'm going to be building a, a shed. But the most important thing, and you want to walk over here? Yeah, absolutely. You? I think this really so this, finishes this the whole is, This is whole kind piece. of like it, the water and reminding me of my father who loved 
Rocky Love had a great appreciation for the gold mining of California and the California gold rush. So awesome. I brought back from California, which belonged to my father, is a real gold ore cart here that sits on the property and I had it shipped back. And so this sits here as well as my on my landscape and this ties in with this water feature that I'm able to hear over here and it's just, um, and then all this will be cleaned out. But right now, everything is about my dad today and I, I'm so glad Aquascapes is part of that story. Well, it's been, a, it's been really special for all the CSEs that have been out here with us, myself. I'm really sad that the rest of the team Aquascape was not out here with us, but I think what we were able to pull off today, even if we blew the budget by a little bit, sorry, Brian, I think it was totally worth it. Uh, we'll blame Pond Mom, because Pond Mom is <laughs> it's her neighbor. So we'll blame her for the reason behind that. So sorry, Greg, but I think it was totally worth it. I'm excited for you. I think this is going to bring you tons of joy and tranquility. And with your high stress job that you're in, I think it's going to be really great for you to come back home and be able to really enjoy this 365 days out of the year. Oh, absolutely. And, Mike. Uh, and I've already got Zen with my Jack Russell. If you have a Jack Russell and you can get Zen, put this in. Awesome. This <laughs> awesome. Well, it's been wonderful, uh, Dan, and you just, you blew me, you blew it out of the park. Awesome. Just blew it out of the park. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Yeah, no, it's just been a beautiful day. Just a beautiful day. It's been, day. been a lot of fun for me. And let us know what you guys think. Hit the like button, comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next one, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Make sure you tell all your friends. We need more friends. We need more people like Gina living the Aquascape lifestyle. So tell everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Chris for the opportunity to come out here run this job solo today with these guys. We had a lot of fun despite the really cruddy weather. It rained the entire day. Not having that tent I think would have definitely shut us down but we, we persevered through it and I think it was totally worth the effort. Big thank you to all you guys. Couldn't have done it without you but we've had a lot of fun today so appreciate it.